What's going down everybody on YouTube? Before we start this video, I want you to smash the notification bell, beat up that like button, because we got a treat for y'all. Alright, so today for a little late lunch, we got the kids chicken fingers and uh, french fries. And uh, I'm going to show y'all what I got the adults from a local restaurant. Let me, let me show you guys what the kids got first before I tell you where it's from. So there's the, the, the fries, we gave them a little macaroni and cheese. We got some chicken fingers, they're hidden under there, but they're big, juicy chicken fingers. All right? You know what I'm saying? Know your mouth watering. So we got food from a local restaurant um, called Big Daddy's, what is it, Home Run Plates? Yeah, Big Daddy's Home Run Place is like a barbecue spot. They got a mix of different things. So, um, right now we got, let me show y'all what we got. We got this corn souffle. It looked like cornbread, though. I think they mixed it up. It's usually more moist. But it could have been because it got a little cold because the Uber Eats driver being slow as hell. And then we got sweet potato fries. I know they look a little janky, but that's because they softened up a little bit due to the the driver's now he got my fries looking all fucking flaccid you know but they're good as hell a real sweet potato then we got this good sexy macaroni and cheese if your mac and cheese don't got little burnt marks in it that's not real macaroni and cheese that's that box shit so we got fried chicken some beef cubasa sweet potato fries over there and this is the chicken wings plate you know what I mean oh this is collard greens Right, it got soul food, you know, stuff too. So, this is collard greens with smoked turkey neck, and that. Know what I mean, so hi. This, you know, hi. that's the baby. Hi. You want to say hi? Hi. Hey. <laughs> okay. So, we're gonna get back to the. This is my chicken wings. You know what I'm saying and. I boxed that little crush. Like I said, this is the Uber East driver's fault. You know what I mean? I mean, got them chicken, you know. I don't really eat the drumsticks like that, so I might have my wife eat those. But yeah, this is what the, uh, what you gonna call it, came in. The kibasa, but I, I spit it with my wife because I ain't gonna eat all that crazy. I didn't know there was gonna be that much food. That's, you wanna try it? Here. Alright, so I didn't send my sauce, which I ordered for the wings, unless it's soaked into the the wing. Um, so everything looking good. We ate here before; the food was pretty good. But I'm gonna do a quick little taste test. You know, some of these items for y'all, so I can get down to eating for real. So I'm gonna try this beef kielbasa. It looked like turkey, though. It's turkey. Yeah, that's turkey. On their uh, website it says beef kielbasa, but apparently we got turkey here because uh, I don't eat no pork. I don't smell like pork, do it. I hope I eat that shit. I'd be sick. Turkey? It tastes like turkey. It's his diet, but it's good. The sauce that's on his watery as shit. Let me try this corn soup plate that got soaked in it. Now this, this right here is the corn souffle. There's a little piece of corn in it and it's soft and moist. Mm-hmm. That's fire right there. That's the chicken. Hold on, let me show them. Look at that. That's real chicken. All right, we got rings in it. And this is a chicken wings. This is a wing, okay? Chicken. It's like chicken. It's like chunks of chicken. Like it's it's crazy. Let me try this uh, other corn thing, whatever this is called. Oh, hold on. I don't like cornbread, so I'm gonna get one piece for my son. So he eats that, and another piece of my wife because I don't eat that. I don't like cornbread. I like corn souffle. This. It's all chicken right here. 
There's other chicken. There's no bone. There's no bone in that. That's just chicken. Straight up chicken. Which we not complained about. Is it moist though? Because usually when you cook without a bone, it just dry out quick. Boys, go eat your food. Oh, um, there is a bone. There is a very tiny ass bone. Okay. But uh, let me try one of these wangs. Yeah, all right, quick. Try one of these wangs. Mm -hmm. mm. No sauce, but still good as hell. Um, moist. Mm. Mm. Well, we got got boneless chicken, and the boneless chicken we already know is good. But you want to get up here? Matter of fact, um, boys, sit on that bed with him so he sits over there so we got space. Here, baby, put this over there, friend. You want to eat with your big butters? All right. Yeah, my chicken was good. It it tastes a little better when you eat it in person. Like the food, the food is a lot better. My, it tastes like my cornbread chicken or Fritos. All right, so I'm gonna try this mac and cheese. Mm hmm. Everything on these plates usually tastes better in person. Usually tastes better in person. I don't know if it's because of COVID, they've been slacking with the seasonings. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna break a piece of this. I think this is a thigh or a breast. It ain't. This ain't like no GMO type chicken breasts or chicken thighs like you get from a lot of huge chains. All right. Yeah. So I don't know if it was just that wing, but the thigh I just took a bite of. Like it had a more of a seasoning type of taste. It's been battered a little differently. It might have just been that wing, but this, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, the chicken's a little different than it, when it, what, what it was when I when I first tried that place. The chicken had a different breading. It wasn't so thick. Like, this is some thick breading, right? You know what I mean? This is like KFC Popeyes type breading, but thicker. Me personally, if you're on the East Coast, especially in New York, you know a place called Kennedy Fried Chicken. That's my favorite chicken spot. If I gotta go out and eat chicken, that's my favorite chicken spot. You know why? Because that's the best taste in chicken. I don't know if it's they cooking pigeon and it just tastes better than chicken. I don't know what it is, but that's what it is. It's way better than chicken. And I'll eat a pigeon any day then if that's the case. But if you ever in Rockland County, do your Google search and search up Big Daddy's Home Run Plates. All right, they give you bang for your buck. It's expensive, depending on what kind of plate you are. I think it's cheaper if you actually go there. When you order, it costs more for some weird ass reason. But they give you your money worth. And it says the chicken wings is a four piece, but this is not a four piece. This is like a twelve piece per person. So I don't know. They didn't send my sauce, so definitely go there in person. They'll give you your sauces. Uh, that's good, man. Let me, um, take another bite. All right, these are sweet potatoes again. Um, my wife about to take a bite of these, uh, corn, uh, this collard greens and tell me what it tastes like. Because I'm not eating that. Oh, good. The corn is like lit. Well, I'll take a bite of her thing. Collard greens. For the camera. I love collard greens, but I'm picky about my collard greens, man. You fuck up collard greens, it's over for your restaurant. Dead ass. I don't care how good your chicken is. I don't care how care your steak. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. Let me see. Oh, wait. Yeah? It's good, but it ain't home. Like, it's very vinegary, but I think that's because it's real collard greens. And you kind of got to wash collard greens really good and vinegar them up to have a good taste. This ain't canned collard greens or frozen. This is real collard greens. And definitely, anybody who who know how to cook, you know. If you get fresh collard greens, you wash them. And you wash them good because it be little bugs and cooker bugs and shit in there. 
any any green leafy green that you get fresh if you get it from like a it depends on where you get it from they, you gotta wash some shits crazy mm, i'm making cheese though they got a bone this is how you know it's real smoked turkey up in that piece it got a turkey bone up in here there's the other way over here look at that they had in a big pot somebody granny in there stirring that up you know what i mean but uh man I, this mac and cheese though i came in front now mind you no restaurant you go to is ever gonna match up to you know mm. yeah. no um restaurant ever could meet up to down home granny's cooking or your mom's cooking you know when it's uh soul food or nothing like that but if you if you far from home if you're an artist on tour or you traveling you you homesick you missing home and you in rock you passing through rockland county go to big daddy's home run place nice spot they got good barbecue um at least last time i went there they didn't really had no pork options so if you're a swine head uh i, I don't know what to tell you because i don't eat no pork Straight up. My wife don't eat no pork. You know. Um. Um. So, to be honest with you, this corn souffle is lit. Straight up. Um. My only gripe right now is my food a little cold, but that that's not the restaurant's fault. That's Uber Eats, and you know, for, uh, I'm gonna rate this food right now. Although they did not send my damn sauce, I'm mad as hell about that shit. They didn't send my sauce unless this dude stole it. And I'm about to check on my receipt and make sure I got everything. Uh, no. Mm. I'm damn corn to play. Tastes like butter. Um God damn that corn to play fire. I ate the shit out of it though. I'm going now. That's corn to play. I don't know, it soaked up some barbecue sauce or something, but that shit fire. Yeah, it probably was. The corn to play way better. Huh. Um and uh I'm gonna give uh the restaurant Although they forgot the sauce, because, you know what, because they forgot the sauce, let me give them straight up. Forgot the sauce. My chicken a little burnt on some spots. I'm going to give it a, um, and they gave us turkey sausage as, as opposed to beef. I don't do the turkey, man. I don't, I mean, yeah, right. if I don't got a choice, I'll eat the turkey ones. Uh, I'll give it a straight up eight. I'll give it an eight for the restaurant. But. It's not a solid eight. It's an eight, but it's an eight because of the, the screw ups. The forgetting the sauce, unless that's the Uber Eats fault, and burning the chicken a little bit. In person, when I had it before, it was a straight up, it was above a 10, straight up. Uber Eats, I'm giving y'all a zero, straight up, man, because y'all got my shit all crushed. Y all, y all, if, it, if it's your fault, I didn't get my damn sauce. I didn't get my damn sauce for my chicken. I'm over here eating butt naked chicken. I don't, I don't eat butt naked chicken like that. Unless it's made at home. Uh, daddy! 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 Y'all played me, man. Y'all got me cornbread instead of corn souffle. And I don't know if that's the restaurant's fault. Uh, let me see what we got here. Um, Y'all got my shit cold. Y'all can't. Y'all went to the wrong address. And I, I and I double checked, too. To see if I, if I messed up. And y'all straight up went to the wrong address. Straight up and down. Y'all went to the wrong address. Not even close. Y'all went to one fucking whole different city. So. And thankfully. The cities here are technically towns. They're like right next to each other and shit. The borderlines. Like five minutes away. And y'all niggas fucked my food up. So, yeah, Uber Eats, yo, y'all get a zero. That, that is precisely the reason why I never ordered it from y'all. 
for one, y'all had my bill jump up thirty dollars, a little over thirty dollars. My fucking how much it cost me for the food went up almost thirty dollars, right? Y'all niggas is bullshitting, you know. But this is the size of the sides they send you when you get a side. You know what I'm saying? It's good though. Um, you know, baby. What do you uh, give the restaurant as far as food this time around? You know, out of 10. You're going down. Go eat your chicken and french fries, boy. Yeah. Eat your chicken, eat your chicken and french fries. Go eat. eat. So you get four. You give it an eight. That's just based on today or in general. Oh, man, my leg. Yeah, this ain't the this ain't the big daddies we know, man. Straight up, they got the wrong yeah they got the wrong person up in there today. Yeah, but that's not the restaurant's fault. That's delivery. What do you give uh What do you give uh Uber Eats, babe? She'll be here shaking her head. They need Uber Eats to shut down. We need to get back to Grubhub or DoorDash or something. Um, but yeah. It's good though. <laughs> You'd be like a band like Outback. But um, another thing, the chicken is tender, but it's usually even more tender. Like the shit be falling apart. The bread ain't coming off a little too easy for me, but you know, you can't expect to be home cooking. Like I said, it's a family owned restaurant, so it'll be a different person cooking each time. But I think a lot of the mistakes is due to Uber, because the food itself tastes good. And that's all you want from your food. So, you know, that's all we gotta say. We, we, we want y'all to go try it for yourselves. Don't just take our word for it, go try it for yourself. You know, we looking rough right now. We, we waking up for lunch. You know, we had early breakfast. My wife made us some food. You know what I mean? So, hey, man, go try it. You know, we'll get back to y'all with another video. Peace.